Hello and welcome to this video. If you're here, it's because you want to learn how to draw a dotted line in GameMaker, as in the example shown here. The method I show uses a for loop to draw the sprite repeatedly across a specific area. If you are not familiar with for loops, I suggest reading the GameMaker documentation about it. Let's get started. Okay, very bare bones project for the sake of this tutorial. I have an object for drawing the line, and two other objects the line will be drawn between, that is, a player object and a cursor object. The first thing we will do is create a sprite for the dotted line. For this tutorial, I decided the sprite would be 16 by 2, and its origin would be middle center. Feel free to experiment with other origins. For me, middle center works. If we take a closer look at the sprite, you'll see that I just split it in half, leaving the left side empty, and filling the right side with a solid white color. Next, we need to create the dotted line object. Set its sprite to be the dotted line we just drew. We will only need a draw event for this object. In the draw event, we will need to set up a few local variables before we can summon our for loop. Remember that the draw event is executed every step, much like the step event. First, we need an origin point and a destination point. More precisely, we need the x and y coordinates to those two points. Then, we need to make sure we are updating the position of the object drawing the line to its origin point. We need two more things before we can summon our for loop. First, we need the angle we want our line to have. To find the angle, we will use the built-in point direction function and plug in the x and y origins, then the x and y destinations. As for the padding, that will simply be our sprite's width. Now we can summon our for loop. Giving i the initial value of 0, we will check if the distance from the xy origin is greater than i times the padding, or the width. As long as it isn't, we will keep incrementing i by 1, and the line will continue to draw individual sprites until this statement is false. Finally, Using the draw sprite ext function, we will draw the sprite at the area where the previous sprite finished drawing using the length dir x and length dir y functions. Set the scale to 1, the image rotation to our angle local variable, the blend to image blend or c underscore white, and the alpha to whatever you want. If you followed these steps correctly, you should now see the dotted line being drawn correctly when you launch the game. Make sure the object is in the room first. This concludes our tutorial. Leave any comment in the comments section if you have any comments, and I will eventually respond. Thank you for watching.